Hi guys, good evening. Hi Brenda. Hi Ariel. How are you? Hi teacher. Pretty good. And you? Good. How was your weekend? It was good. <laughs> what did you do? Tell me. What did you guys do? I just slept a <laughs> lot of time. <laughs> what about yours? Great, with a lot of projects here with the kids and you know crafting and and works around the house too so mm -hmm. so it was interesting Adiel, good evening how are you hello are you there hello can you listen to me? I can listen to you. Oh, okay. Maybe Adiel doesn't have sound. Or maybe he's just... I cannot listen to you. Adiel, I'm sorry. Maybe you're in mute. Maybe unmute yourself. By the way, question. Where are you guys in the platform? Have you been working on the platform? Brenda, have you been working on the platform? Yes, I was working there and let me check on mm -hmm. to what the did I check. Okay. You told me you were working for a call center, right? Yes. Okay. yes. okay, is it a back office account, front, chat, outbound, inbound sales, tech support? What type of call center it is? No, it's okay. just customer service for okay. uh, cell phone company in the United States, so pretty much is this. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. Um, until the lesson 2.9. Okay, 2.9, super. Okay, that's good. Samuel, good evening, how are you? Adle, good evening, how are you? Hi, Ale. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Good evening. Hi. How are you? How was your weekend? Yeah, very good. <laughs> was uh, very uh, tired because I I was to dish my my old clothes. <laughs> ah, okay. So you have to walk. <laughs> Watch, okay. yeah, watch. yeah, and clean hands, and okay. and I I went to the supermarket, so it was a busy weekend. Yeah, <laughs> very 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 busy. Okay, super. Luis, good evening. Welcome. How was your weekend? Good night. Good evening. Sorry. Good evening. Hi. It's so fine. I was working. I have to work on weekends and take care of my kitchen garden. Or, yeah. Super. That's good. Gardening. Yeah. That's great. That's great to hear. Okay. So I have also a Galaxy Tab Active. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't have the name. And D G Y W E J J U. Very long. That's like Y M C A. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to fix my my, my there's name. like where where you have this there's like three dots where you have the mute yeah. there's like three dots right next to mute it says yes. um change profile picture and there you should have an option that says change your name so you could be you you could change your name from there mm -hmm. you should have like three little buttons there change profile picture and change name Okay, let me come in. Yes. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Don't worry, it happens to my son all the time when he's trying to go into class with the teacher. It's like, who's Bea Salaverria? And I'm like, oh, it's me. My mom is always having trouble how to change names. Okay, guys, so last week we were doing a little bit of everything. Tonight, we're going to be talking a little bit about imperatives. What do you know about imperatives? What are imperatives? Are they orders? What do you guys think? What are imperatives, according to you guys? Mm -hmm. 
por ahora. Imperative. What does it sound like? What do you think it's an imperative? What is an imperative? It is maybe like in Spanish, it's something that you have to do. Okay. Like an order. Mm -hmm. Is it usually something rude, like strict? Is it something like strict? Or is it nice? What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. What is an imperative for you guys? It could be a command, maybe an instruction. We're going to find out if this type of instructions are nice, if they are rude, or what type of instructions they are, okay? Let's watch the following short video about imperatives and just like a brief introduction to what they are. And tell me, can you see my video right now? Are you able to see my screen? Yeah. Okay, super. If you're not able to listen to the video, let me know, okay? Stay around for more explanation. Oh, I'm sorry. Imperative. Hello everyone, before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions... So what are they according to the first brief introduction? Imperatives are? Commands. Very good, like sit down, stand up, open the door, close the door, fix that. It all depends on the tone of voice that we give it, okay? It's not the same to say, open, open the door, it's like, open the door see it all depends on how we say it also even if we don't use please or even if we don't use any type of subject next to it but it all depends on our tone of voice for them to sound very strict and rude or for them to sound nice too suggestions we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive stay around for more explanation imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions be sure to turn it on don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. If we notice here, I'm going to go a little bit back. If we see here, um, in this case, an imperative goes next to an infinitive. For you to have an infinitive, you always need the direct connector to. Okay, so it will be be sure to. Don't forget to and then the verb in the reg in its base form. It doesn't have to be conjugated to the past or to the future. Okay, be sure be sure to turn off the light. Be sure to uh, sit down properly. Be sure to pay attention in class. I'm not saying be sure to pay in attention. So so to can never go along with the verb in ing. It will never sound correct to see to say be sure to pay in attention. Be sure to cooking. Okay. So no, so it will always go, to will always go next to a verb, but an infinitive. And it's to give suggestions, to give an advice, okay? Be sure to lower the volume before our class. Be sure to sit properly for your back not to get crooked, okay? So you're giving an advice or a suggestion. That's why we use an imperative plus an infinitive with always, and we always use to in between to join, okay? And to give suggestions, of course. Let's continue watching. This is how we'll use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is two plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. What happens when you don't know, okay, when you started studying the language, when you started studying English, what advices do you remember you received from teachers, friends who already speak the language? What were some of the advices? For example, I would tell students, hey, make sure you watch, make sure you're, uh, you turn your cell phone into English instead of having it in Spanish. That would be one advice. Make sure you turn your cell phone in 
to the language of English, not Spanish, okay? What would be an advice that you received from any people around you when learning English? What were some advices using imperatives? Mm -hmm. Read a book in English. Make sure to read a book in English, okay. Make sure to read in general. It could be a book, an article, okay, anything, but make sure to read a book uh -huh, in English, okay? What else? Make, sh make sure to watch movies or series TV in, in, in English. Okay, in, make sure, uh -huh. make sure to- With, with or, or without subtitle. Subtitles, very good, excellent. Make sure to watch movies or watch series in English. Excellent, very good. Mm -hmm. Any other suggestions? Did you ever, did you ever receive a suggestion with a dictionary? Maybe? Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. the, the music, make sure to listen to music in English. Make sure to buy a dictionary or a good dictionary in English. Yeah. Not Oceano. Remember Oceano's <laughs> word? Oh my God. <laughs> I remember Oceano dictionaries. I don't know if you remember those. The translations yeah. were like, like super bad. So yeah, make sure to get a very good dictionary, okay? Those are some suggestions that in a way they become imperatives because you're giving like an instruction, but in a more polite way. And also it has to do with your tone of voice, okay? Always. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure. Make sure. Don't forget. Remember. Try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Okay, I'm gonna stop there and I want you to come with your own examples also regarding the language. Your self or solo examples that you used to yourself when learning English, okay? Give me your own examples with, be sure, Make sure, don't forget, remember to, and try. Who wants to start? Mm -hmm. Me? Okay, I go ahead. One. Yeah, sure. Uh, try to speak English the most of the time. Okay, try to speak English most of the time. Without that, uh, try to speak English most of the time. Very good. Mm -hmm. Super. Another one? Don't forget to do your homeworks. Excellent. Homework is saying it's plural without the S. Don't forget homework. to do your homework. Uh -huh. Even if it's plural, many tasks, okay? But you don't have to pluralize homework. Uh -huh. Make sure to do your homework because it's irregular. We already know it's plural or singular. Don't forget to do your homework. Excellent. Very good example. Another one? Uh, one example. Be sure write a letter in English. Uh -huh. Very good. Be sure to write in English or a letter in English. Yes. Be sure to write emails in English. Be sure to text in English. Like if you have friends that speak English, why not practice, right? Text them in English write to them in English, so it's very, that's a very good one. Uh -huh. Be sure to write. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another one? Make sure to turn it off the TV. Okay, make sure to turn off the TV when you are studying hot your notes or when you're studying turn, English, okay? Turn off. Before your class, your English class, for example. Mm -hmm. Very good, super, thank you, let's continue. Properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. 
Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Now it is your turn. Okay. Ready to come up with... Going back to negatives. Examples of your own? Now it is your turn. Wait, let me go back here. Okay, so we saw the positive ones. Now let's try negative ones for students who are studying English. With be sure not to, make sure not to, don't forget not to, remember not to, and try not to. Mm -hmm. Give me examples. Hi, teacher. I want to give you one. Okay, super. Mm -hmm. Okay, be sure not to to use Google Translator in your English class? Super, be sure not to use Google Translator, right? Instead of that, look for the image, look for the meaning, look for synonyms, right? There's other tools, guys. I don't know if you know them, but you can actually use a thesaurus for a word or the image on Google. There's other tools that you can use and they're free, okay? So try to stay away from translating all the time. That's a very good one, okay, super. Another example, please. Mm -hmm. With not to, make sure not to, don't forget not to, remember not to, try not to. No more examples? No? Try not to speak. Spanish in your English class. Okay, try not to speak Spanish in your English class. True. And it happens. Sometimes we're very shy. We're very shy and we do not. Um, we, and sometimes what happens is that um, it's not that we're very shy. It's that we're just scared of making mistakes in, 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 in English and we're scared of what people's going to think of us. What if I make a mistake? The more mistakes you make, guys, and this is for everyone, the more mistakes you make in English, the better. Why? Because it's the only way you're going to know if you're saying it correct and you're going to perfection at your English. But if you don't speak and if you don't participate, you'll, you'll always be like, am I right? Is this a correct way of saying it? Is this the correct way, the correct form? So you always will have the doubt, like the question mark in your head. So make the mistake because then you will learn from that mistake and not to make it in, you know, and the, the more you practice it, the better you become in the language, okay? That's an advice that I can give you. So don't be scared of making mistakes. We all make mistakes, we're not perfect. And that's part of learning languages. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. So now that we saw this short video, like a little introduction, now I want you to do a little practice. We're gonna watch another video with the same lesson in a different context. And I want you to take note of all the imperatives that you're able to see. And then at the end, I want you to tell me which imperatives did you learn from the video that we're about to see, okay? So be ready to take notes, okay? Please, just give me one minute. I'm going to do this and I'm going to share my screen. Yeah, tell me if you're able to listen to the sound, okay, of the video. Okay, to enhance the sound, I'm going to take away my camera. That way you are able to listen to it better and have a better video display. Ready, set, go. And she's very nervous. Oh, Ben, are they going to like me? Dillis is about to meet Ben's parents. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Dillis is about to meet Ben's parents, and she's very nervous. Oh, Ben, are they going to like me? They're going to love you. Is there anything I should know? No, don't worry. Well... Actually, maybe a few things. Like what? Well, make sure to call my dad, sir. Why? Is he important? No, 
It's just respectful. Also, remember to call me Benedict instead of Ben. Benedict? I thought your full name was Benjamin. No, it's Benedict. It's an old family name. Try not to be too noisy when you eat. I'm never noisy when I eat. Uh, yeah, sure. And don't forget to take your shoes off at the door. What? These shoes were expensive. I bought them especially for today. Anything else I need to remember? No, no, that's everything. But try not to stand on their pet snake when you arrive. Snake? So in the conversation, the boyfriend was giving his girlfriend suggestions on how she should behave when she visits his parents. And when he made these suggestions, he used a combination of imperatives and infinitives. So first let's look at what an imperative is. So an imperative is a structure that has no subject and starts with a verb. For example, bring your passport, pack your suitcase. And imperatives are usually used for instructions or demands. And remember, infinitives are when we use to, followed by the verb in its base form. So examples of infinitives are to bring and to pack. So now if we want to mix our imperatives and our infinitives, we can make a great suggestion. So let's look at an example. This person says, I don't know what to do at the airport. So let's give him a suggestion. You could say, show your ticket. But this sounds a lot like an instruction or a demand. So to make it a more polite suggestion, we could say, be sure to show your ticket. At the beginning we have our verb, so we have our imperative, we started the sentence with a verb, and then we have our infinitive here, to show. So be sure, the imperative, be sure to show the infinitive, your ticket. Be sure to show your ticket. So here are some common expressions we use as imperatives when we give suggestions. So, like in the example, we have be sure to, we also have remember to, don't forget to, and try to. So, for example, be sure to arrive two hours before your flight. Remember to keep liquids in your big suitcase. Don't forget to show your passport. Try to enjoy the flight. We have our structures all starting with verbs, which make them imperatives. And here we have our infinitives, to arrive, to keep, to show, to enjoy. So let's look at these examples. Make sure to arrive at the airport late. Remember to take liquids to the security check. Don't forget to forget your passport. Try to be nervous. Now you'll probably agree that these are bad suggestions. So to make them good suggestions we need to make them negative. So make sure to arrive at the airport late. We don't want to arrive at the airport late so we need to add not. Make sure not to arrive at the airport late. So it's important that not goes before the infinitive. We can never split or break up the infinitive. So make sure not to arrive at the airport late. Remember to take liquids to the security check. Okay, it's a bad idea to take liquids to the security check. 
So we need to add in not. And again, it goes before the infinitive. Remember not to take liquids to the security check. Don't forget to forget your passport. Again, we want our passport when we take an aeroplane. So all we need to do is add not before the infinitive. Don't forget not to forget your passport. And finally, try to be nervous. It's never a good idea to be nervous. So we add not. Try not to be nervous. And not comes before the infinitive. So let's do some practice. So let's decide which of these sentences is incorrect. So this first sentence says, you try to find some aloe vera. Well, this sentence has a subject. And when we use imperatives, we can't have a subject. So this one is incorrect. The next one, try to finding some aloe vera. And this one is incorrect as well. And why? Well, in our infinitive, we have two plus a gerund. And we should have two plus the verb in its base form. So it's incorrect. And the final one, try to find some aloe vera. Well, this one is correct. It's an imperative because it starts with a verb. And then we have our infinitive structure, two plus the base form of the verb, which is find. Try to find some aloe vera. So in this example, we have a piece of moldy bread. It looks like it's been kept for too long and it's gone bad. So which one is the correct suggestion? Remember to eat it. Remember to not eat it. Or remember not to eat it. Well, remember to eat it is a bad suggestion because this would make you very sick. So this one is incorrect. Remember to not eat it. Well, this one is wrong because to and eat are separated. Not can't come between these two words because it splits the infinitive. So this one is incorrect. And this one, remember not to eat it is perfect. We have our imperative beginning. And then because it's a negative suggestion, we have not and it comes before the infinitive. Remember not to eat it. Okay, so that's everything for this video. So please try the activity below. Goodbye. Okay, so are you ready with your imperatives? Tom, Tom, Tom. Were you able to write down as many as you could? Yes. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go to this super tool that I gave you the other day, which is the classroom screen. And if you're able to open it up too, that would be good for you to type or take notes whenever you want. Um, I'll use it to write down your example. So I'll give you a case since you were able to write down your own examples. Now I'm going to give you a scenario and I want you to give me positive. First, we're gonna start with the positive imperatives and then we're gonna try to use the not or the negative imperatives, okay? So the first scenario is, um, <clears throat> you are sick, super sick. We don't know what you have, but you're just sick. Somebody's sick, okay? So give me imperatives of what you would tell this person when this person is sick, as a caring friend, as a caring relative, etc. cetera. Mm -hmm. Based on the ones we learned. First, what we would tell them. For example, be sure, be sure to drink in liquid or Enough liquids. Okay. Be sure to drink enough liquids. Excellent. Super. Be sure to drink enough liquids. Okay. Let's do a negative for this one. What would be 
Not to. Be sure not to. Not to drink uh, too much liquid. No, but as a suggestion, what would be the negative of, uh, of as a okay. subje suggestion? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, oh. maybe be sure not to go outside. Okay, be sure not to go outside while you're sick. Okay, mm -hmm. super. Another imperative. Now we use be sure. Let's use another. Remember that, perhaps. Don't forget to take uh, up the pill. Do not forget to take. Uh huh. You could take your medication or pill. Your pill. Uh huh. Your guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try to go to bed. Try. Mm, try to rest, maybe. Rest. Yes. 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 As much as you can. Okay. Let's do the negative for this one. A negative one. Try not to. Automedicarse. Could be. Automedicate. Sorry. Try not to automedicate yourself. Yeah, like, okay, I'm sick. I'm just going to drink this and that. And, okay. Maybe. Another one. Uh, miss, I had one example. Sure. Go ahead and participate. Um, mm -hmm. Try nothing in Spanish when you are learning English. Okay, very good. What about, <clears throat> but what about this situation when somebody is sick? What are some suggestions that you could give this person? Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure to keep, to keep resting, for example. Make sure. To keep, to keep resting. Mm -hmm. mm, to keep resting. Mm -hmm. To keep resting. Okay. Um, remember to make the appointment with the doctor. Remember to set up an appointment with set up. the doctor. Uh, that's a good word to use. Set up an appointment with a doctor. Set up an appointment with the dentist. Set up an appointment with a person, with a client, okay? It's like a range. Mm -hmm. That's the word, set up. It's a phrasal verb. Mm -hmm. Super, very good. Next scenario. Can somebody come with one scenario? Give us one scenario, and we're going to try to come with the imperatives for that scenario. I started the first one. I said sick, somebody sick. Give me another scenario that we could use. Another situation? We could use coronavirus or something like this okay. topic. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Very good. Let's use mm -hmm, a situation during quarantine. It could be quarantine, not necessarily. Uh -huh. Or the storm, let's use the weather conditions. So it's raining, you can't go outside, you know there's a lot of floods, trees fall down. Okay, so it's critical. It's a critical situation due to, to winter time. Okay, so suggestions and imperatives. Mm -hmm. so make, give me make, sure to, make sure to stay at home. Okay, <clears throat> make sure to stay at home, okay? Or stay safe. Excellent. To stay safe at home. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, another one. Super. Make sure not to. The negative for this one. Make sure not, not to, to. Not to go out, go outside if it's not necessary. Make sure not to go outside if it is not necessary okay very good 
with remember Remember that. to use the mask. Remember to always remember have to, to use, use the mask. To use a mask, very good. The mask. A mask because it could be anyone. The, we use the, this, we use it only with very specific masks or very specific models. For example, if I want to use that, I would say, remember to use the, the, the green mask. The 95, what? I don't know, the 95K or something mask, for example. If I was talking, let's say the 95K, 95. the mod, I'm sorry? N95. Thank you. It's letter M, right? As in mother. M or N? Yes. M95. Okay. So N. 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 Yes. N. Yeah. It's okay. called. So if we want to use the article the, we use it for very specific models. But if we're talking in general, just you would say remember to use a mask. But if you want to say the model of, of the mask, then you would use the. Remember to use the N95 mask. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference when you use the and when you don't use the. When you're talking about general ideas, no article, the. In Spanish, we use it for everything, but in English it's just for very unique things around the world. For example, the world, you say the world because there's no other world. Okay, or you say the moon because we don't have another moon, the sun. So for unique elements, we use the, or for very specific models, okay? Okay. This is for everybody. And if, in case you guys didn't know. So we don't say remember to use the mask, but remember to use the model of the mask and then mask. Okay, remember not to. Remember not to? Not to leave, not, not to leave the mask. Uh, not to forget. <laughs> okay, not to. Not, or not to forget. Forget your mask at home. Your mask. Okay. When you go out. Mm -hmm, very good. Okay, super. Anybody else? Another scenario. Now we use one with weather, storms. Coronavirus, quarantine, give me another example, another scenario so we can develop it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more before we do the last exercise. Don't forget yeah. to, to feel your, the dog. Okay, very good. Your pets or your dog, do not forget yeah. to feed your dogs, your dog. Or you could say pets in general. Mm -hmm. Yes. Even the gecko that you have inside your house. Yes. <laughs> Dog, pets, it's fine. Okay, super. Okay, so these are some examples. I'm going to send them on WhatsApp. That way you have them. Now, I am going to stop sharing my screen because I'm going to make groups. And I want you to open your platform. And I want you to work on exercise. I'll tell you in a bit. Together. 2.9, which is the knowledge check for imperatives and infinitives for given suggestions, okay? So I'm going to set you up in partners or in groups for you to work on this really quick. And then we're going to have a closing activity. So ready, please accept your invitation. And I will see you in a bit. 2.9. Okay, remember.
with the imperative and Mm -hmm. Exercise 2.9. Mm -hmm. Exercise 2.9 on the platform. My, my first example uh, is don't forget to bring your notes. Mm. No, but I want you to develop or answer the exercise on the platform 2.9. Ah, okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. So open up your platform and work on the answer. Um, okay on the answers for knowledge check 2.9 after the video for imperatives mm -hmm. i didn't listen that no it's okay don't worry i think i'm gonna broadcast a message in case everybody else is wondering okay thank you okay i'm going to read these suggestions which ones refer to an alarm system a cell phone a laptop com a laptop computer choose no try to keep it close to protect screen. Yeah. Or secret code. Are you doing exercise 2.9? Yes. Yeah, we are working. Okay, super. Okay, super. Okay, uh we are we're all uh agree with that. Okay, with the number one. And yeah. number two, yeah. I think is the top Number one. two, uh, don't forget to write down your secret code. Uh, for me, that's a cell phone. Yeah, all right, it's a cell phone. Number three, remember to turn off as soon as you come in, uh, come, come in, in the door. As soon as you come in the door. Uh, the alarm system. Yeah, this is the alarm system. Uh, try not to get it wet or the key may get stuck. Uh, the cell phone again. But if you want to, we can check, uh, we can point alert to system. Alert, alert to system? To write alert. down your... Okay, okay, okay. okay. On the number three, remember to turn off as soon as you come in the door. Alarm sister for number three for me is alarm system. Okay, okay. Yes, alarm okay. okay, okay. Number four. Try to try not to get it with or the keys may get stuck. What's the meaning get stuck? Laptop computer. Laptop computer. Try to get with. get stuck. Joanna is trabarse. Uh, trabas. Get stuck. Uh -huh. uh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, uh, laptop computer should be. Okay. You're right. You're right. Make sure to set it. It's time to leave home. Set it. Met, uh, make sure to set it each time you leave home. Uh, alarm should system. be alarm system. Okay. Do you agree with me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Point six, remember to re to recharge the battery. Okay. Try not to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. Stuck. What does stuck? stuck it is mean? stuck is trabado. Latin computer. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. La trabado. That's stuck. Quedar trabado. Mm -hmm. May get stuck. In this so, case, from, it's Latin computer. Laptop computer. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the answer. Make sure to set it each time you leave home. Set it. Set it. Let me see. Make sure you set it each time you leave home. Okay. Try not to get it. Uh, make sure to set it each time you leave home. I think I think it's alarm system. I think that. Make sure to say it each to time you leave. 
I think it's our alarm system. What yes, because said. it speaks about time. Okay. It's yes, alarm okay. system. Time you, okay. Remember to recharge the batteries before they die. Uh, it's a cell phone, right? Yes, cell phone. Or, or maybe be sure to write off before bed um, or uh, be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may the last one is cell phone be sure to turn it off before bed or call be sure to turn it off before bed or call my way to the cell phone, cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. okay yes Let's submit. Yes, I have. A uh, good job. <laughs> Great job. I have 33 over 33 points. Okay, guys, <clears throat> are you ready with the answers for the exercise? Let's compare it together. Number okay. one, uh, try to keep it close to protect the screen, laptop computer, okay. yeah? Yes. Super. Number two, do not forget to write down the secret code. Code, that is alarm system. Um, yeah. Okay. Number three, remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. Also, alarm system. Number four, try not to get it wet or the keys, the keys may get stuck. Stuck for those of you who some of you were asking como que se puedan trabar, okay? That's to get stuck. Mm -hmm. And that is laptop computer. Number five, make sure to set it to each time you leave home. Also, alarm system. Remember to recharge the batteries before they die. A cell phone. And the last one, be sure to turn it off before bed or call may, I'm sorry. Be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may wake you up. That is also a cell phone. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any questions so far? No? No. No questions, are you sure? Yeah. Any questions about imperatives? Okay, so I want you to go, all of you on your platform really quick before I let you go. And I want you to read on your own, okay? And if you have there are any words that you don't know the meaning, I want you to go to 211, a day in your life, please. A day in your life. And who wants to help me read? Who wants to help me read A Day in Your Life? The first part. Let's go by paragraphs if you want. I would like Eat to. Fisher. Super. Let's start. People? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. People used to now more or less not hope. Their shy children will okay. live. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what even our know. own live our own lives we live like in a few years. What follow it all sprays see the future? Future. Very good. Thank you. Samuel, keep reading please. You are a daydreaming. You are daydreaming. Your daydream behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have an automatic pilot. Automatic and pilot. Automatic pilot, and with its yeah. high-tech computer, you. You, your car knows how to get your home safely. Okay. 
continue, please. Eh, Antonio, your head. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> it's the number two, right? Yeah, you head for the kitchen. Yeah, you're what? You head for the kitchen? Yeah. You head for the kitchen when you get home. You order groceries by computer an hour ago and they've been delivered. You paid for them before they arrived. The money was automatically deducted from your bank account. Nobody used cash anymore. Thank you. Luis, can you continue reading, please? What's your I don't like to read. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's for lunch? What's for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop off to get a hamburger or pizza. Hamburgers. Now you, uh, now you use you use your uh, diagnostic machine uh, to find out which food your body needs. Your food preparation uh, machine makes you a salad. Thank you. Ale, continue reading, please. Okay. After lunch, you go down the hall to your home office. Here you have everything you need to do you, your work. You never have to commute to work anymore. Thank you. Kevin, continue reading. Okay. Your information screen says that you received a message from a co-worker in Brazil. Mm -hmm. You set your computer to, to translate Portuguese into English. Uh, your co-worker's face appears on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. Okay, thank you. Brenda, can you help me read the last one, please? Uh, you finish working and go back to your living room. You turn on the television and look through the list of new movies. Is like having a video story in your home. How about a classic tonight? Maybe Back to the Future? Super, thank you. It says here, a day in your life in the year 2020. Hmm, interesting. You know how, how, um, how interesting this might have been a couple of years ago, maybe, what, 40 years ago, right? When we never imagined we were going to see cars, electric cars, or be able to touch the screen of a computer and be able to manipulate it with any problems, right? So technology, it's, it's going forward and it's everything is changing so fast. And this, you know, this new era, it's making us more, um, I've noticed that now homeworks are not writing, you know, handmade anymore. Everything's on computer, PowerPoints. I remember back old school PowerPoints where they're like the little cardboard with markers and everything, and now everything's PowerPoint, Prezi, applications here and there. So our life is a little bit more simpler. Easy. And easy. So for tomorrow, you're gonna have a presentation about this. I want you to pick something. I want you to go and look for something super interesting. It could be one picture, a slide, and a PowerPoint, but you have to pick only one. So it could be intelligent robot, something interesting out there that has changed or that will change in the future our lives or that is changing our lives. But make it interesting, okay? Something that we don't perhaps know, like those electric cars that are coming up uh, nowadays, solar cars, I don't know, come up with those little, I, I saw the other day, those drones. drones, the luggages that follow you on the airport so you don't have to carry them anymore. They follow you through your USB, uh, cell phone on your usb so think of a very interesting gadget technological gadget that can change the life and you're going to speak about it for one minute okay so okay. presentation is going to be for one i'll send you idea a couple ideas on whatsapp that way you're ready for your witty witty presentation tomorrow okay guys okay Great. super so it was nice talking to you all today I have to run to the other class because I have class at night. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same time, same place, okay? Okay. okay. Enjoy doing your homework. Bye, guys. Have a good night. You sure. too. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Salud, pues. Bye, Bye guys.